Welcome to the WatchGuard XTM Configuration Migration eLearning video. During this short video, I'll show you how you can use your existing XTM configuration to save time when upgrading to a new XTM device model or just replacing your device because of a hardware RMA. Simply put, I'll show you how to edit one XTM device's configuration file so you can use it on a different XTM device. Before I start the migration, I need to use either the Web Setup Wizard or the WSM Quick Setup Wizard to set up my new XTM device with a basic configuration. Because I'll overwrite this basic configuration file later, it doesn't really matter which IP addresses I enter in the wizard. I just need to make sure they're IP addresses I can connect to. I also need to remember the passphrase I set for the device. In addition, I need to have the feature key for my new device. Before I download the feature key, I'll activate all of my services and upgrades. Finally, I need to install the latest version of WatchGuard System Manager on my management computer. To move the configuration from one XTM device to a new device requires only a few steps. First, I edit the configuration file and replace the feature key and verify the network settings. Then, I save the modified configuration to my new device. When that's all done, I can disconnect the old device and replace it with my new XTM device. For this demonstration, I'll edit the configuration from an XTM33 and save it to a new XTM330 device. To begin the migration process, I connect to the existing XTM33 device and open its configuration in Policy Manager. Next, I need to remove the existing feature key. To do this, I select Setup, Feature Keys. In the Feature Keys summary, I can see that the current feature key is for my XTM33 device. I'll click this button to remove the feature key. Here you can see the feature key summary now shows that the device has not been activated. I'll click Import to add the feature key for my new XTM330 device. I can browse to select the text file that contains the feature key, or I can copy the feature key and paste it here. For this demonstration, I'll just copy and paste the feature key. Once I click OK, the feature key summary shows the serial number and model of my new XTM device. When I click OK again, Policy Manager warns me that the new device has a different number of interfaces than the device I'm replacing. If my new device had fewer interfaces than my old device, I'd need to change my network configuration settings by clicking Network Configuration in Policy Manager. Because my new XTM device has more interfaces than my old device had, I don't need to change anything here, and I can click OK to close this dialog box. My configuration changes are complete. Before I save the configuration, I need to move the network cable from my original device to the trusted interface of my new XTM device. I also need to make sure that my computer gets an IP address on the same subnet as the current IP address of the trusted interface on my new device. The trusted interface IP address is the IP address I configured when I ran the web setup wizard for the new device. Now I can save this configuration to my new XTM device. In Policy Manager, I select File, Save to Firebox. Next I remove the IP address of the existing XTM33 device, and I type the IP address of my new XTM330 device. I type the passphrase of my new XTM device here. This is the passphrase I set up when I ran the web setup wizard. In the Save dialog box, I can either accept the default file name or type a new one. I like to use a new name just to make sure the old file is available in case I ever need it. Policy Manager warns me that the IP address does not match any interface IP address in the configuration file. This is expected because I want to replace the existing configuration, including all of the IP addresses. So, I click Yes to continue. If my new XTM device uses a higher version of FireWare XTM than the old device, Policy Manager needs to upgrade the configuration file for use with my new device. Because my devices are running the same version, I can just click OK to close the Save Confirmation window. Now I can swap out my old XTM device with my new XTM device on the network. 
To do this, I disconnect each Ethernet cable from the old device and connect it to the same interface number on the new device. That's it! The migration is complete. You can use the same steps I just explained to migrate a configuration from a Firebox X E-Series device to an XTM device. For more information specific to E-Series migrations, see the WatchGuard Knowledge Base. For more resources to help you deploy and manage your WatchGuard XTM device, go to the WatchGuard XTM device documentation page on the WatchGuard website.